I do have a word from the Lord for somebody. Sabaeans raided them, took them away. Indeed, they had killed the servants with the edge of the sword. Listen to these words, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Just when you think it can't get worse, it gets worse. The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep. The servants consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. So you already had two incidents, and only one guy escaped the first one, another guy escaped the second crisis, that the servant would say, I alone, I'm the only one who made it out. Did you notice that out of every trial, no matter how severe it was, somebody always made it out to tell the story? I want to preach on that subject today. Somebody always will. Somebody is going to make it out. And what kills others and what takes others down and what causes others to give up and what causes other people to, to let their dream die, there's always somebody who's going to get out of it and come through it and tell the story of how it took them out, but I survived. Somebody always will make it through. And you may be going through something and you may be facing things and the enemy's whispering it. Nobody else has made it. Nobody else can live it. Nobody else can stand. People in this year perhaps have suffered more setbacks and more battles. It wasn't just one thing, but it was one thing after another. When nobody could, somebody did and somebody always will. And we're sitting in this room today as a testimony. I still believe and I still am standing and I still know that God is my defense. You ought to make up your mind. I'm going to make it. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to lay down and I'm not going to be a statistic. I'm going to make it because God is on my side. And if you don't change your mindset, you're not. Somebody's living for God. Somebody loves the Lord. Somebody's going to do it. Somebody's going to live right. Somebody's going to live clean. Why don't you be that somebody? Why, why don't you make up your mind?